You are now listening to Hong Kong 2, the only podcast sanctioned by People's Republic of China, featuring Chris Lynch and Benjamin Taylor. Oh my yeah, God. welcome to episode 31 from our small hiatus, our short hiatus. We had a little hiatus there, um, also known as the perfect storm of shit. It was a perfect happened. storm. It's a perfect shit storm, but... I felt bad. What um, ep- what episode is this now? Thirty one. Damn, it's been like a month since we've did this. Did it, yes, I, we apologize, but we're gonna we're gonna be back on the consistency train. We just had two two events that were we were out of town, but now we're back, better than ever. And we're gonna record every night for the next month. Yeah, we're gonna. Every single night. Every we're gonna single do a month. Night. We're going to do a record-a-thon. Yeah, a record-a-thon. We're doing a record-a-thon for the, the month of July. Now, while you were gone, I put on many more people to Tubi movies. Have uh, we watched the, a full Tubi movie together? Yes. I think we have. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Are yes. you talking about the the um, These Jessica, men. the Jessica, whatever that... Lisa Jess- Brown. Lisa Brown. Yeah, and, yes. Uh, I put on two more close friends to that. And did you, are you? Did they watch it? Yes, they're obsessed. They, now they're watching the other movies. So I um, shouts out to Earth Tones for putting me onto that. Oh, you put Earth Tones on, nice. Yeah, yeah I, wa- I watch like two of them, and I'm like, I think I get the gist. Once you've seen two of them, you've seen them all, basically. That is the case. Yeah. You know, you can watch two Lisa Brown movies, and what's the other guy's name? The Lisa Brown. I, um, I forgot his name. The other name. director? I don't know the other director's name, but I do know uh, some of the actors. One of the actors, Diesel. I forget his full name, but his nickname is Diesel. Okay. Not Vin, Not to be confused with not the to be, Vin No, Diesel. Diesel with a Z. Oh, uh, so, Diesel. Diesel. But, uh, yeah, that's... Uh, so I was, I was happy that uh, they, they got turned on to that. You think that the producers of those movies or the writers get, like... Like mad money? Do you think that Tubi is pulling in bread from those, or is it just? Honestly, I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of ads on Tubi. I think you're getting a package right now. Is that a person? Sorry, I'm distracted by a delivery. No, it's probably the mailman. The mailman's coming. But yeah, um, I don't know how much money they make. They can't be making that much because the budget's pretty low. Yeah, I I'm think I'm all set on Tubi movies. To be honest. Yeah, I, th- I showed you the good ones. You're, I think you're good. But that's my that's the extent of have my you, is that all that you've been watching is Tubi movies or um you... <laughs> yeah that and uh, just random YouTube shit but I've been playing Elden Ring what? I restarted is Elden that the, Ring that's the new Skyrim game right <laughs> 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 I mean essentially uh, it came out uh, two years ago but they recently made a DLC but it's like Skyrim yeah you could say it's like Skyrim it's more I thought hardcore. I thought it was like the extent I thought it was oh the... no the Elder Scrolls Six Elden Ring. Well, what what is it? It's it's uh it's part of the Skyrim DLC. Dark Souls. Oh, it's part of Dark Souls. It's part of the Dark Souls developers. Oh, I thought lore, it was I guess. from. Didn't Bethesda do Dark Souls too? No, no. it's uh, from Software. Is the name of the software uh, okay. company? Yeah, but I never played. I, that's a lie. Actually, I played Dark Souls for like five minutes when I was a kid. It's hard. It's hard. And I couldn't get past the first room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was like, hard. yep, never playing this game again. That's the uh that's the mis- that's kind of the allure of the game is the the difficulty. But I've it's, been it's like, made for people who have like an infinite amount of time on their hands. Well on the weekends I It's been, pretty fun. You know, I've been uh I did a lot of housework and then I was like, you know what? But it takes people like time. thirty hours to beat a boss. Yeah, uh, some of the bosses are hard. Um, you just gotta do your research, but yeah. it's fun. But is that's that's what I've been doing. Is is that game pretty fun? Uh, Elden Ring, yeah, I like it a lot. I, it's difficult, and it's also uh, it's the map is really big, and there's a lot to like explore. Mm. So you like games like that? Like Red Dead's pretty big. You can explore. Yeah, a lot Red of Dead's shit. cool. But I saw something on Twitter that kind of turned me off of Red Dead. It was uh. It was like pointing out all of the gay shit that the rock star devs made Arthur Morgan do, like, gay, like actually like homosexual. No, stuff? not like not like actual homosexual shit, but like, uh, like you have to help the women's liberation movement. 
It's it's just like when, oh, you, when you take a step I, back, yeah, the, yeah. the storyline's actually very progressive. Not I, like I've not like that, yeah. not like that detracts from the gameplay because the gameplay is still super awesome. But I did just realize that it's objectively a very like progressive, progressive game. Like oh, free the slaves, yeah, yeah that type of shit. And I'm like, I'm a cowboy. I feel like I'm I should cow- be doing the opposite. Free no slaves. I'm not supposed to be doing this shit. Yeah. No, I, I, which I've, is kind of like put a uh, slow on my progress on Red Dead because I was living in blindness, believing that I was just a badass yeah, cowboy. Yeah, and now I'm like, wait, really? I've been, you're part I've been of freeing the slaves and prop- helping women. Yeah, you're part of the leftist agenda. Yeah, but I'm probably still going to play it. It's still a pretty awesome. It's a game. badass game. The game fucking rules, and I don't care honestly about. Fuck I mean, it. it was just shocking to me. It is a bit shocking. Rockstars are pretty... Uh, GTA Five doesn't have a progressive storyline, does it? Not really. Some of the radio stations kind of poke fun at, like... Um, the radio station humor pokes fun at both sides of the spectrum, like the left and the right. So I would say GTA Five is pretty in the middle. But, uh, yeah, don't bring politics into games. Yeah. I and mean, w- not like... Yeah, I don't know. Unless I just history. I never looked at it like that until I saw it on Twitter, and I'm like, oh, hey... I suppose you're right. Well, they put, I don't know, this is a deep cut for you, even for me, but uh, Paper Mario for the GameCube, they did a remake of it, and they made, they had a character that was previously, like, genderless or a girl, uh-huh. and in the canon, in this new re-release, it's a transgender character. Really? It's an, it's an official Nintendo game with a transgender character. Is it, like explicitly stated that the character is trans or is it I just think, I think I think so not in the game it doesn't say in the game like this person is trans but it's like you're talking about the, the new Paper Mario for the, the Nintendo new, Switch yeah, yeah, yeah I know the, what you're the, talking the, about yeah it's a remake of the GameCube that's very Paper interesting Mario. I wonder what character they made <coughs> it's uh some <coughs> there was that female character. Goomba that was pretty sexy True. That I would be upset <coughs> if she turned out to be a trap the whole time. Yeah, that would be very upsetting. But also, they say that Birdo... Do you remember Birdo from Mario? No. The Which one's pink, that? The pink character with the big hole um, that shoot eggs out of the hole. No, I'm not familiar. Supposedly, that's a trans character, too. Anyways. So they're just, like, rewriting the canon Yeah. to make to trans for the, people... For the modern narrative. That's so crazy. that's uh there's this, uh, I, I forget what show it was, but I keep seeing, fuck, it's like this, uh, it's like a, st- it's a TV show that's stylized in the style of a kid's cartoon, like some Gravity Falls type animation, uh-huh. but the themes are BDSM and shit. Do you know the show? You know, the sh- do you know that show? The themes are BDSM? Yeah, it's like a for sexual, kids? it's like a sexual show with like a, ki- like kid animation. I'm trying to think of the name. Is it of four it. kids or no? It can't be four it's kids. It's not. It's not like four kids, but I think it's meant to appeal to kids. Let me see if I can find it. It's like BDSM. A, don't type in BDSM kids. No, 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 I'm, no, no. I'm, I'm typing BDSM like cartoon show. <laughs> um, or Pornhub. Okay. <laughs> God damn BDSM it. BDSM cartoon show. I forget the name of Is it. Is it BDSM specifically, or is it it's just like, like a, a sex- sexual? Are sexu- you talking about drawn together? No, it's castle some shit or like oh over the something bridge over the bridge over the it's like Steven Universe stuff. yeah 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 over it, the castle wall over the castle wall or some fuck what is the name of that cartoon Laker what's the name of that cartoon What's the name of that cartoon that was like Steven Universe style It's called like over the castle wall or some shit. Over the garden wall. Over, I don't think. That's not BDSM. That's a no, kid show. No, it's some other shit. <laughs> it's a kid show. No, the, yeah, that's not what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of a. Uh, he's th- he's trying to think of hey. some BDSM cartoon. It's Definitely the. Not over the it's wall. the it's the cartoon that's like recent. It's like it just came out recently. Are you talking about uh? Are you talking about G G Force? It's Honestly, like G Squad or something. The gay, know. the the LGBTQ uh, superhero force. What's it called? Gay Squad. It's called like G Unit. I don't fucking. Anyways, Q uh, Squad, Q Team. Let me find it. Um. Oh, I found it. Has been Hotel. Oh. oh Have you heard oh, of that oh, shit? Oh, oh. 
Uh, the, I've the, heard of it. I don't know what it's it like. Is, it's like um, here's the summarization from Google. <laughs> this is crazy. This was porn, dude. It it is in an attempt to find a nonviolent alternative for reducing hell's overpopulation. The daughter of Lucifer opens a rehabilitation hotel that offers a group of misfit demons a chance at redemption. So she fucks all. Of them. <clears throat> so it's like basically Satan's daughter opens a hotel to rehabilitate demons, but like the characters are in dra like. They were in like that's like tranny. Like it's like a tranny cartoon, basically. Interesting, and it's just for like. And it's got like a huge fan base too. It's for porn. It's like porn. It's porn essentially. Yeah, yeah. I saw. I it's saw, like deviant art. People would. Jerk it was off a glimpse it. into a different world that I had never known about previously. Because I've heard of it, but I, I never, uh, I never looked into it. But the the yeah. point being is like everything is just being. We're getting mogged by trans people. Yep, that, the that's trans happening. community is pride just happened. Is mogging the straight community? Oh yeah, pride did just happen, didn't that? Were you there? Were you were you proud? <laughs> was I there? No, I was here. <laughs> you were here. No, I was actually on the road for most of that, but I didn't. I didn't even really didn't really phase phase me or affect me. Yeah, I never. I don't think I've ever seen a pride thing up close in person. Which no, is, but apparently it gets pretty gnarly in New York City. Like pe like people are pe peeing on each other and like oh, kiddie yeah, pools well, in like front of kids. Nasty shit. Yeah, like pe like adult men peeing on each other and, and kiddie pools like uh, in front of men. Like yeah. either in like San Francisco or New York or something like that. Just like really gross, nasty yeah. shit. But that, I believe it. Yeah. Anywho, um, doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Uh, oh, I have something very exciting. I am getting a new grill. Oh, to it's on the way to cook. Mm-hmm. It's a smoker. Okay, nice. It's basically a, a an upgrade from what I had before. I'm selling that, and uh, I'm getting a Yoder Yoder pellet smoker. Is that like a is that a nice upgrade for you? Yeah, it's like. Is it a pellet smoker? It's a pellet. It's a pellet smoker. I saw I saw you guys get a Traeger. Yeah, we got a Traeger, and I was like. <laughs> Which I've never actually operated a Traeger. I've never operated a pellet smoker before. But They're uh, fun. But I was very surprised you guys got a Traeger. <laughs> it's not really... It's probably... A one-off cook hot dogs and hamburgers. Type yeah. Of, uh, did you guys keep it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. it's still there. Keep it in good condition. I'm not, like, in charge of the that, okay. condition. Well, it would be a shame if it went to... It would be a shame. It's like a yeah. twelve. It's like a twelve. Wouldn't be the first time something cool has gone to yeah. shit. It's a twelve hundred dollars item. So. It's an investment. So <coughs> I will say the burgers that were cooked for me on that grill were <coughs> good. Yes, <coughs> like very tasty. Once uh, I get this yoder, um, it's gonna change the game. How have you been eating lately? <laughs> Not so great. I mean, I, I mean, it depends on what you mean, healthy or <coughs> yummy. Like, have you been <laughs> cooking for yourself or? Uh, as of recently, not too much. Uh, especially after being on the road with the comedy tour. Yep. Um, I mean, we're eating out the whole time, but we eat relatively good food there. But um, <coughs> were you going to restaurants or like fast food shit? Mostly restaurants. We mostly ate in the hotel. Oh, uh, what, like room service shit? No, just like the hotel restaurant. <clears throat> oh, I gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but he, I'm going to start, um, once I get that grill. It's bet you're back I'm on gonna the I'm going to start grilling some meats yeah. for everyday consumption. And uh, can't wait. I mean, I also want to get an awning so okay. I can cover. Yeah. I'm going to power wash my patio, <clears throat> get yeah. it nice. I'm going to get, it's going to be. Nice. It sounds fun. Yeah. I'll be there. I'm ready to cook and grill out. Yeah. I need so, some burgers, some brats. Yeah. I want to have a little... We I haven't really had like a... I want to have like a nice summer moment. Mm-hmm. I want to have a moment where I'm like, oh yeah, it's summer right now. Yeah. Zach Brown Band, chicken fried? Yep, Zach Brown Band. Um, uh, What's the new beer of America? It's not Bud Light anymore. <laughs> I think it's Bud Light. The whole uh Dill Mulvaney. Yeah, the whole that that thing um got that got squashed because when uh, uh Shane Gillis got endorsed. endorsed. 
Is he still endorsing Bud Light? I believe so. Is Dylan Mulvaney still endorsing Bud Light? I doubt it. Uh, that was... I wonder what he's doing. You know what's so funny? She. She, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, Dylan. Um, I actually sorry, saw... Dylan. I saw it perform live <laughs> on Broadway when I was Dylan younger. Dylan the person? Dylan the person, yeah. Um, <laughs> it used to star in um, the Book of Mormon on Broadway. Wait, really? I swear, that's how that's, Dylan Mulvaney used that's to. That's his claim to fame. Is like he was he was one of the she, elders. She. He was what? She one of the two main elders in the Book of Mormon. Really? And my mom and I, we were we like she took me on a vacation to New York for a week, and we saw like plays. Was and this years ago? This was years ago. Yeah. Was this before Dylan became way a, before, like a before, decade before, before yeah. transitioning, oh, like a decade before? Oh. Yeah. And uh, interesting. And we saw a bunch of plays, and one of them was the Book of Mormon, and Dylan Mulvaney was like one of the two leads. And he that's was really rare. good. He's actually a good actor. I bet. But that's now, rare. Now that's like uh, that's like how uh, <clears throat> James Charles, when he was a kid, he used to do Mario Kart Wii. YouTube really? videos. That's he, funny. He I used to do that. Mario Kart Wii modding videos. Isn't that random? I believe it. I'm not, I'm correct me if I'm wrong on that, but yeah. Sounds like something he would do. Yeah. <clears throat> he fell off pretty hard though. He did fall off, didn't he? I, I think he had some controversy surrounding him. It was probably there's a lot of pedophile shit coming out lately. You see the pedo hunting videos recently? Oh my They're god. Everywhere. They're so fucking crazy. There's bro. a lot of them now. This is the guy who got pushed. Yeah, dude, there's my whole Twitter feed, or not my whole Twitter feed, but a lot of it is like I smacked this pe I smacked this pedo in a Walmart. Watch Yeah, they're slapping him now. They're sla it's crazy. it's awesome, bro. The the content is so much more heavy. They'll smack him and then they'll run and they'll like shove him. And they'll follow him out to the parking lot. And then the police are there. But the, the, yeah, no, they're never there. The police are never there. They it get, always they, ends they with the, the pedo. They, like, get the, they get the police there sometimes. I haven't seen one with the police there. I, oh, the ones that I watch is like they smack them around and then they get in their car and they like take the license plate down and they drive away. Yeah, I've seen those. Or, or uh, yeah. But that the, shit's crazy. It that's, is crazy. That's the new shit right there. The other shit is. Uh, well, the other ones where they have the guy call their wife. Oh yeah, that one. Those are those nuts, are funny, bro. Those are sad because the wife is like, "What the fuck?" <clears throat> yeah, it's like just getting a phone call. There was one. The craziest one was the guy whose wife was giving birth. Have you seen that one? His wife was giving birth to their daughter, like their kid, and he was trying to meet a kid at the hospital. Oh my god! Like in the waiting room while his wife is giving birth. I think I saw like a thumbnail. For Do you that. know what the one I'm talking about? I think I saw. So a thumbnail his for his it. like wife is giving birth and he's trying to like get a kid into the hospital waiting That's room. That's and he gets like smacked absurd. up. Sir, yeah, isn't that crazy? That's some oh crazy. My god. It's like it's actually so crazy. There's no way to script that. There's no way to script that, and it kind of ruins the the woman's experience. Of well, she's fine. It's like. She gives birth to the kid, and then it's like, what, the pedo hunters come in, and they're like... Yeah, it ruins Look the moment. Look at these chat logs. Completely ruin the moment yeah. of your kid's birth. Her husband's a pedophile. And then you tell your kid, like, yeah... That's I, fucked I up. I remember the I day... I feel bad for the... I remember the day you were born, sweetie. Uh, pedo hunter 774 came bursting through the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, and you smacked your father three you times. You smacked your father right in the face. That was the and day you were born. viral on Twitter. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I love you. That's fucked. That's fucked up, though, right? Mm hmm I would not. I don't think I would do. I wouldn't want to do pedo hunting. <laughs> I was going to say. I was gonna say you're like, I, don't, I wouldn't want to talk to a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> like, I wouldn't either. I wouldn't want to do that shit. No. I wouldn't want to be a pedo hunter. I wouldn't want to talk to a kid, and I wouldn't want to be a pedo hunter. I wouldn't want to be a pedo hunter. Because it's like, the the I think the funniest pedo hunter video I know we were about to move on, but there's the one where the kid, the guy's like, I'm looking for my pooping pills. Have you seen that one? The Asian guy? Yeah. He, and then, like, and then, he gets, then, he, then he goes in this car and he, <laughs> and he backs, backs into up. the rock. Yeah, that's he awesome. backs into the rock and like totals his car. Yep. That's great. And then he and then he tries to get away and he just ditches his car and gets tackled. He's like clearly high on math. Yeah. That one was my favorite. Yeah.
Anywho. There's a lot of, yeah. Also, another thing that's trending is the Jinx shit. Have you seen that? Oh, you mean Sketch? Sketch, sorry. Yeah, Sketch is gay. So what, what, what is that about? I don't really know about the guy. I know he's like a retarded looking kid who looks like he's retarded, who's a streamer. Yep. He turns out to be gay. Yeah, I didn't. I, and, there's uh, more to the story. But. Apparently, Phase Banks saved his life. Phase Banks texted him. He's like, "Bro, it's cool that you're gay. Come back." Wow. He's like, "Come back to the Phase House. Come back to the Phase, <laughs> bro." Like, I was watching ESPN, and they were doing a whole documentary on Phase, like for two hours on ESPN. I'm like, "Is this gaming shit really that fucking?" Popular. It was like a pre-recorded like, ESPN documentary. Or was it like no? It's like I was watching ESPN live at fucking Texas Roadhouse, yeah. and it was all phase shit. It Why was were like, you watching ESPN live at a Texas Roadhouse? Because the TV was right there. And I was just oh, like, oh, I thought you were watching it on your phone because you had no, your... no, no, no. There's a TV at Texas oh, Roadhouse, and they had ESPN on, and they there was were doing all a phase, phase thing. And I was like, this can't be. A phase is like getting more legit, which Dude, is crazy. I'm like. Yeah, now face esports. Like, I don't get esports. I don't. I don't get esports either. It's honestly. just like ESPN, esports. Come on. Yeah, nah. I don't but, understand esports either. Personally, I. I don't know if I would get down with Phase. Uh, so Sketch, he went back to the. So Sketch was like, he's crashing out. <clears throat> he crashed out on his OnlyFans by taking gay sex. So he had an, he had his own OnlyFans. Yeah, or he had like done porn or some shit. In okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the deal. He was gay. He's very gay. I should probably check the exposure. Yeah. <clears throat> before we we're continue, doing, we're doing a before we continue the sundown pod. Yeah, no, uh, it's still good. Are you sure? Wait, do you want to check without your sunglasses? No, it's. All, I was checking the. I'm going by the exposure meter and it it's looking sharp right now. Okay, cool. The uh, iris is all the way open, so the auto, ISO is on auto adjust, so it's auto adjusting as it gets darker. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, I'm just thinking of like more shit that's that I've seen trending that I haven't had. Oh yeah, <clears throat> so the jinx gay shit and then the doctor disrespect pedophile shit. Yeah, I. Uh, that shit's uh, uh whatever. whatever. Who cares? It, if you Doctor disrespects like played out. Yeah, I thought I've always thought he was kind of a qu- queer, not not a. Queer. I used to think he was kind of dope when I was younger. When really? I was like sixteen, seventeen, when I was still in high school, I used to watch his streams. Yeah. I don't like. Um, I was never like Champions Club fan, but I was like. I see. I don't even know what that. Sh- I don't even know any of that shit is. He, it's like bro fisting PewDiePie. Okay, it's like if you were to bro fist PewDiePie at the end of his videos, if you okay. were watching Doctor Disrespect at the end of his streams, you'd be like Champions Club. Okay, I know that because Pedophile it's like, Club. Yeah, Pedophile Club. Um, but I guess he was talking to some kid. It's so easy to not talk to a kid. <clears throat> but then they're saying he got framed by the Twitch staff, and that the Twitch people were like, I mean, it could him happen. Up, it could happen. Which I it's don't very fucking scary. know. Yeah, it's very scary. I would hate to be framed. Up. He got he got into some shit a couple years ago. I don't know if you remember his like drama with his wife where he got caught cheating on his I wife. I remember that, yeah. And he had to like get out of character and like go on the stream out of character and he's like I did a bad thing. I'm so sorry. Sorry. See, this is why this is this is why people these people um you're a entertainer back in the day if you were an actor or entertainer or this or that, you didn't have to go make a video saying, I'm sorry I cheated on my wife. You didn't have to do that because you have your own fucking life and shit happens. Yeah. And you do your own shit and it's none of other people's business. Well, in business. the 80s, it was different because like... But now <clears throat> it's all everywhere. Well, in the 80s, they also didn't have fucking like, you know, 90s and shit too. They didn't have smartphones. It wasn't like... There weren't. I know. It's, I'm sure it there sucks were. Go- now. I'm sure there were gossip tabloids, but it probably wasn't as gnarly as it is now. Yeah, it's just like like you know that one. I don't know if you. Remember it's OD this one. now, bro. It's so I know. OD. I don't know if you remember this one, but fucking there's a some streamer. Uh, he uh, he was streaming and then accidentally opened a tab that had uh, 
Pokimane or other streamers deep fake nudes. Oh yeah, I remember. And then that. and yeah. then he went on stream to apologize. He was crying. <clears throat> His wife was right next to him. They're both crying. Yeah. Sam covered it, and that's so bog. That's so. It's like gay. gnarly. Every it sucks t- that that happened to the family or whatever, but it's, it's just so. It's gay just to like crazy, it. bro. Yeah, that shit is like. Do you ever open Twitter and just look at your timeline and think, it is so cooked out there. It's so cooked. It's and so cooked right now. Bro. And that's why I started playing Elden Ring yeah. because I was I was on my I was on social media too much and I needed an escape. It's really gnarly out there yeah. right now. Bro. You get a game. Yeah, it's crazy. The ho- like. I can name a million different things I've seen. Like, ev- yeah. it's like every day I open Twitter and it's just new shit, like mm-hmm. a new bullshit. Yeah. The Hawk to a girl. Yeah, that's that's gonna that's that'll be. She nothing. signed. She signed like a reality that's, TV yeah, show deal. Yeah, whatever. It's crazy. It's lit. It's pretty lit. It's pretty lit out there right now. It is pretty lit. If you're uh, if you're a whore or if you're a <coughs> pedophile or if you're. Uh, <clears throat> You can make a your streamer. Web. You can do anything. <laughs> did you see the? Um, they did the presidential uh, debates. The debates. I did watch some of that. I saw. I caught some of it live. Biden was slipping. <laughs> That's old news. But I didn't get to catch it live. But I saw the clips. The clips were crazy. It's nuts. Um, he I'm was. Not, he I'm, was pretty. It was pretty fucked I up. Think Trump might. I think Trump might swing sweep. In. Yeah, it's looking like a sweep. We should do a barbecue here. It, well, we watched the election happen. Yeah, we should. Yeah, to celebrate. Yeah, That'd be dope. Or to not, or if it goes wrong, <clears throat> or if it goes south, wrong. we can still have good. We food. can still have a good time. Yeah. Um, I That's, remember that was crazy though. Yeah, the Biden shit is getting heavy. It's too bad. Did you see there? The thing that stuck out to me wasn't even like the debate shit. It was the, it was the speech that he gave the day following the debate where he was, it was, it was a regular rally he was doing a rally and then uh he goes look i may be old and i may not talk as well as i used to but there's no doubt i can do this job and he like leaned into it he's like yeah i'm fucked up but i'm gonna get it done and that was like that's like their new angle is like that's horrible it's crazy bro i i know i'm old and fuck i'm 81 did you do you know what I'm talking about? Have you seen that clip? I think so. Was it post debate? <clears throat> it was post debate. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, he goes, I know I may not talk as well as I used to, but I know how to take care. It was some bullshit. It was like they're leaning into it. Yeah, they're running cover. Not like it matters. It's probably all bullshit. Who cares? Yeah. But now we'll have a. Let's talk come about no, come November. We'll have a party. We'll have a party. Yeah. Let's talk about what? Anything else? Anything else? What about these Corona extras? About the other uh, Corona extras, it's nice. You know, I've always wondered this. Um, it, uh, there's Corona extra, but is there a cr- just a Corona, Corona standard? I, I'm just happy I didn't buy the Coronitas. Yeah, because I've made that mistake like three times. In I a think row. they're designed for you to make that mistake. I'm not sure what the deal is with the Coronitas marketing, but they need to be more clear about. The fact that you're buying mini Coronas. No, they don't. They don't. They want you to make the mistake, because they they probably because they want you to come back. Yeah, because they they manufacture them and they. Uh, Do you have the bottle opener over there? No. All right. It's uh. Maybe we should pause. I have to pee. Anyways. Yeah, okay. And we're back. We both had to pee. Both had to pee. Uh, I forget what we were talking. We were about. talking about. We can probably just move on to something completely different. We sure can. We sure can, buddy. How's um. So you've been playing Elden Ring. Elden Ring has been great. Uh, I haven't. Have you been enjoying the Steam Deck as of late? I have. <clears throat> oh, I remember what we were talking about. We were what? talking about Twitter shit. Oh yeah, eh, that's yeah, it's boring. That's the l- 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 one and done. But no, I I've been enjoying my Steam Deck. Um, I haven't. I haven't played my Steam Deck in some time. Yeah, I, I think it's I've nice. Been, I think I've been unmotivated to play video games you've been busy yeah i've been busy i don't know what i want to do you've been through a lot no nah, uh, i've been through nothing <laughs> i've been through absolutely <laughs> been through nothing. nothing do you ever watch um <clears throat> do you ever watch police body cam videos on your youtube account 
Police Activity. Police Activity. Do you like that account? I do. That's, I think, one of the best uh, mm-hmm. YouTube channels. They have crazy shit on there. I, um, I'm i very fond of... I, I was watching some last night, and I was, like, blown away. I was like, I can't believe this is actually available to watch. Yeah, that's great. Some of the shit that happens every day is crazy. I mean, we should wa- we should be able to watch it as as citizens because it's these yeah, it's are, all right. These are state employees. These are given right, yes. Uh, but if you were a cop, what's the best situation you'd want to be put in, like to show your badass side? Uh, do a detail at a crosswalk. That's it. <laughs> or or a, a fucking no uh, d- uh, to show how badass I am. Yeah, like if you could engineer school shooting. You would respond to a school shooting and take out the shooter? That would be the most badass thing. Okay. I might not do that myself, but okay. that would be pretty badass. Okay. The one, the most badass one that I've seen was, it might not be the most badass, but it was pretty cool, was this guy, it was in Texas, I believe, it was somewhere. Um, this guy was like, it started with body cam of this police officer talking with um, like a mom and her two kids. And he was like, you guys stay in school now. Like, he was like, he was just talking to them about, you know, stay in school. It's just a casual conversation with the cop. And then you, he- it, they're in a strip mall and you hear gunshots in the background. And oh, like, yeah. Move away. I know the video you're and talking then he about. Runs, and he runs like superhero style. Yeah. Oh, this is in like, front of the lids. It's outdoors, right? Yeah, it's in front of the lids. Yeah, and he and smokes he, his ass from like 30 yards yeah, away. Yeah, and they're trying to, f- they're trying to pinpoint where yeah, the sound is. Yeah, that shit was badass. From. Yeah. He's like running towards the sound of the f- of the gun. Yeah, yeah. That is some badass shit. So that's that's one of the more badass police. That is videos. a pretty badass one. Yeah. Yeah. My dream cop badass scenario would be like, <laughs> um, I'm at like the world's biggest bank. It's like he, it's absurdly America's huge. biggest bank. It's America's biggest bank. And there's like pillars and columns. Yeah, it's a but grand then there's Central four, Station. Four Muslim hijabis <laughs> yep. who walk in and they all unfurl their trench coats like, and like they a, have bomb like, straps. Like to Team them. America style. Like Team America style, yeah. <laughs> and they go, take me to the vault. And so they like take the bank teller hostage and she's taking two of them to the vault and then two of them are on crowd control. And the sheriff goes, And she's like, it's a time the delayed goes, safe. The sheriff goes, we got to send Ben in. We Batman? Gotta, we got to send Ben in. Oh, Ben and AKA yeah. Batman. Yeah. So they send me alone out in a SWAT car, SWAT truck, and I've got like. No, you're in the heli. Nah, because the heli makes too much noise. <laughs> so we're pulling up in the SWAT truck, and they give me uh, my assault rifle and my pistol, and they go, go handle business it. <laughs> <laughs> like you always do. It's like, do you need backup? And, and I no. look at them, and I, go, and I look at them dead in the eyes, and I go, this will be quick. <laughs> Just another Monday. So then I repel I repel up to the top of the bank and there's a glass window that I can see perfectly the two terrorists. Mm-hmm. I put the suppressor on my gun, John Wick. How do you stuff. get on the ceiling? I repel up. You repel up? I have a I have you a have like a hook shot. A hook shot that you can <laughs> throw you have a on the ledge. Cup thing, gun? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I shoot myself up and then I I put the suppressor on my gun and I take them both out. And so then they're dead. And there's there's little the room hostages for, are like <gasps> there's such there's such little margin for there's error. There's such a little margin for error. Because the, the hostage is right here and then you have to shoot the head here. They weren't holding only one of them had a hostage held. But okay. I, I saw Because you can't shoot the bomb because I then saw they all him blow and up. then I chuckled a little bit. <laughs> I chuckled to myself. You're, you're like you're an easy death. <laughs> I'm like I'm like <laughs> what an easy kill. I'm like I ch- I saw him and I'm like <laughs> I'm like can I move? Because it's like the joke is like, like can I like I had to move like I had to jump and like shoot him from the hip. If I was standing still, I wouldn't have been able to hit him. So I had to like do a little jump. Okay, and I had okay. To shoot him. So then I killed him, and then I killed the other guy. Then I repel into the bank, and the hostages are freaking out. They're like, ah, ah. "Thank you, Ben. And Thank I'm you, like, Officer Ben." And I'm like, I take one hostage, and I'm like, "Shut the fuck up." And. Then the two guys come back up out of the vault with all the goods. They're like, what happened? Boom, pop both of them. Pop both of them. SWAT car is still outside. Engine still running. Key, keys to the city. And I go take them away. And oh, and you're, and, you're the, and you're bringing them to the jail. 
What aren't they dead? Oh, they're dead. <laughs> no, you're bring, <laughs> they're dead. You're bringing them to the morgue. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I take bad. one hostage and I parade them through the city as a trophy. I and they're, take and they're, they're still shaking. I use my <laughs> I use my reverse time power. Okay. To okay. reverse time. Nice. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, that's well, anyways, a, that's a much more detailed yeah, story. Just, than that's an, like a nice fantasy that I had yeah, right there. That is a nice fantasy. That would have been cool. If that I was thinking about the Rainbow Six Siege map bank. <laughs> <laughs> when Inspired that, when by Rainbow that Six story. Siege. Yeah. That's funny. <clears throat> you know, it's almost uh, it's almost Doc Holiday season next month. I know. A month yeah. from now. It's almost your birthday. Yeah. Now tell me what you know about Doc Holiday. What was his first profession before he was a gambler Den- and a gunslinger? Den- dentist. Yep. Okay. Good. Okay, so you know he was in dentistry, and his right in his right hand man. Who did he team up with? Wyatt Earp. He Wyatt Earp. Yep. Okay. I the, think we the, need to watch Tombstone tonight. The Tombstone quiz. Can we watch Tombstone tonight? Maybe. I haven't watched Tombstone in like three months. It's about time that I'll I'll, watch heavily, it. I'll heavily consider it. We should watch Tombstone tonight. I actually guarantee that'd be an awesome time. Okay. If we did that, that would be so fun. Okay. Right, and I, I would have a great time. I'd be glued it. to the yeah. I can make it happen. So what's that that's on your head right now? Uh this it's a beanie, but I just put it I didn't place it on I didn't place uh, it on my head. It looks like a wig from where I'm sitting. Uh, okay. I'll take it off. No, no, leave it on. Leave it on? That's the one that Taylor made you, right? Correct. From yeah. season two. Nice. It's nice. I never got a beanie made by her, but I well, need to get my I need to figure out you know what's really hard is getting shit made like clothing yeah we've talked like about like getting this. good clothing made i want to make my beanie and i want it to be like black white you might red. have to give it up i know it's pretty you have to like be in tight with a chinese man yeah um, it might be too much effort for what it's, it's a worth. lot of effort yeah now nah, it's a little od you should get a golden mini it's, it's like it's like, like a cod item. It's, oh. like, it's like the cod skin but it's like the golden beanie. that's pretty funny yeah i like that <laughs> so instead of black it's just gold Mm-hmm. I um, I got. Speaking of signature clothing items, I got some new country flag shorts. Mm. What countries? I got Antigua and Barbuda. That's one country. I think we talked about country shorts on the last pod, didn't we? I talked about how I was getting. They're in yeah, the mail. you said how the price increased. The price did increase. Yeah. But I, they came in the mail. Uh, in Antigua and Barbuda, I got the Dominican Republic, classic. It's classic Rhode Island swag. I got Azerbaijan. And I got Mozambique, which is a country in Africa. And those all have good, cool flags. I like yeah. those flags. Okay. Um, Do you have a USA pair? You know, I don't, but I should. Yeah, that's fucked up. It is fucked up. I mean, it. it uh, but you should wrap your own country. I'll wrap my own country. I think you should. Yeah. Um, USA has a really cool flag too. USA the, does have a cool flag. The USA has a cool flag. We have a good. We have a good flag. We have a great flag. Uh, it's 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 iconic. Fifty um, stars and what? Twelve stripes. Thirteen stripes. Fifteen. Thirteen stripes. For, thirteen. Uh, for I think the it was thirteen, the 13 colonies. colonies. Thirteen colonies, fifty. Yep. 50 Last the thirteenth colony, Rhode Island. How many states do we have? Do we have? How many states are in the United States? Fifty in Puerto Rico and two, 50, two territories. Yep. I think the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. Yep. That's any, awesome. Any man. further questions? We, we have a cool. <laughs> we have a cool ass state, bro. You right. know what was the craziest? This is retarded to talk about, but <laughs> do you know that the? Uh, I think it was. Uh, was it Thomas Jefferson who faci- facilitated the Louisiana Purchase? I don't know who faci- facilitated. Who facilitated the Louisiana Purchase? Um, probably a Frenchman. James Monroe. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, the Louisiana Purchase was awesome for the USA. Yeah, uh, yeah. The Louisiana Purchase was like Louisiana. And then I think the left border was the Mississippi River. Yeah, it was. It and it was, was like it was like a, the boot of Louisiana, and then it went up, it tapered up. Yeah, yeah. all the way up to like uh, huge. It was crazy, and Midwest. we got it for like three hundred, and we got it for like three hundred something thousand dollars in the eighteen hundreds. 
It's just cheap. Like, <laughs> That's pretty cheap. <laughs> Who fucking knows, bro? That's pretty cheap. That's pretty cheap, bro. Yeah. The uh, American history rules. American history is cool. I've been watching uh, history videos on YouTube, and now my whole YouTube recommended thing is just all history videos. History is great. I love it's like history. it's like you with speed running videos. Yes. Do you have yes. speed running on your recommended quite a bit? Uh, right now it's Elden Ring shit, but it used to be speed running. Yeah. Okay. It used to be speed running, modding videos, mm. um, foreign. Like weird foreign videos. Yeah. But I'm not much of a when you YouTube's very focused on its for you page. It's very like recommended. It's very like uh I'll watch three Elden Ring videos, then all my recommended videos are Elden Ring. Yeah, I know. Where as opposed to where it's a little it's, overwhelming. It's yeah, it doesn't the the, the, the system, algorithm's fucked. It's not that great, yeah. yeah. But uh Did you see they remade um they just Ridley Scott directed the remake of Gladiator. Oh no, I didn't know that. I've never watched Gladiator, the, the original one. I've never watched it either. Um, so I know why it has, it up? We should maybe we should watch that tonight. The original one? Yeah, we okay. should watch the one with um, Russell Crowe and Joaquin Phoenix. Okay. Because I guess it's actually a really good movie, but I've never seen it. Okay. But they made the uh, sequel to it, Ridley Scott, and. Um, they like CGI'd the Colosseum in Italy to have water for like naval battles. Interesting. So there's like ships in the Colosseum having naval battles with each other, which I think is the first time has been done on like a big budget Strange. production. Is yeah. that historically accurate? Yeah, yeah. They used to fill the Colosseum with water oh. to have naval battles for like the really? spectators. Yeah. They were really. I was. I'm. I've been like autistically obsessed with, uh, not like, the Roman Empire. Yeah, like the like. I think it's. Uh, I think it's. It is YouTube targeting me. Yeah, it's it, YouTube targeting me with like Roman videos. But I've been watching a lot of Roman videos lately, and I think it's interesting. Like, I want to see what that movie looks like, because I think the budget was like over. It's probably. Just short of two hundred million. Oh wow! Like what they, you know, I'm yeah. sure they recreated the. Uh, let me look up. Um, what was? Uh, let me see. What's the budget for the new Gladiator sequel? Three hundred and ten million dollars. That's a pretty penny. Oh, you know, you know, I was actually talking with Alex. Um, He's saying that I, I got to watch the movie 300. I've never seen it. Oh, really? Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's, uh, I, I apparently 300, I don't know this, but I, I saw in a video that the 300 movie was inspired by a comic. Yeah, the, the it visuals. It was originally a comic. The visuals and the coloring. The visuals are, and the color are inspired by the comic from 300. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could tell the, the visually it looks It, it kind of like reminds me of um, um, Sin City type shit. Yeah, I can see that. It's yeah. some Sin City type shit. A lot of uh, emphasis on like kind of uh, It's very sepia. Co- color it's like sepia filter. Yeah. Like desaturated. The reds are very red. The reds are very red. The browns are very brown. Yeah. There's a one character in 300 that has like really crazy. Um, what's the word that you would use for transforming an actor's body, physique? Um, disguise, like, incognito. No makeup, costume. Not makeup oh, or they're, costume. They're. They did like very crazy visual effects on him, his but costume. physically, yeah. His his costume is like they protruded his spine, oh, and, and okay. they made him like a midget, and they made him look like a golem. So he's all fucked up. And then there was another character in Three Hundred who's like, his name is Xerxes. He's the Persian mm-hmm. general, mm-hmm. and he's like four feet taller than. Um, Gerard Butler's character, Leonidas. Gotcha. So he just towers over him. The which Persia, I guess, the Persians that was the... filmed. Fun fact: that was filmed using uh, depth perception. 
I think where they put Xerxes like further back than Gerard Butler. Oh, so he looked big. So he looked bigger, but they're talking like five feet away from each other. Oh. So that way it looked more imposing. I gotta watch that. You gotta watch it, man. It's it's actually a cool movie. Yeah. Um, the only issue I have with it is the ending where the good guys lose. Oh, I don't, I well, don't like that part. Spoiler alert. Well, it's true. <laughs> I don't care. Well, I figured because it's based on a historical. True story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What is it three hundred guys versus what? Ten thousand. Ten thousand Persians. Yeah, I don't know the I don't know the history of what happened after that, but I know that the Romans eventually reca- reclaimed that like part of Italy. Aren't they? I, the, aren't they Greek? So it was. Uh, I think that yeah, the Spartans were Greek. And the Ro- the Romans, the Spartans had like a different constitution than the Romans. Yep. And they kind of like put their noses up at them until yep. Octavian. Yeah, this is autistic, but uh, Julius Caesar Julius Caesar posthumously adopted his nephew to rule the Roman Empire, and he eventually reclaimed. Sparta, which is yeah. like modern modern day Greece, and I don't know if that's isn't accurate. there a lot of incest going on? Yeah, tons. Oh, and pedophilia too. <laughs> yeah, like tons of pedophilia at the same time. Yeah, oh, tons. It's it like very common at the time. Yeah, that's weird that that was common back then. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you look at Julius Caesar's, Julius Caesar's, yeah, it is right. Julius Caesar seems like a badass guy until you realize that he was just a gay dude that like slept with every. It was like, why were they like that? They just used to sleep with were dudes women, were to advance just, in politics. It was like, were the, women ugly? Nah, I think women were actually like fine, bro. I think why they were, were probably they, why more were fine than dudes? they were today. Why were they into the little boys? <clears throat> uh, because there's they gonna be a reason. They're fucked up. I don't. I There's gonna know. be there has to be a reason. There has to be a bit shoot video on it that we can watch. Yeah, we'll go on bit shoot after. We have this. to go on bit shoot during the intermission, which I think is coming up. Yeah. And see you on the Patreon. See you on the Patreon. Goodbye. Right. Goodbye.